are the uh, PRISM revelations uh, a burden on transatlantic relations? I think so. Um, it, it's uh, always uh, uh, hard to really see what you had thought for 20 years that the NSA would be listening to all your phone calls or would be reading all your emails. Uh, but now we know for sure. And I think this is a big issue for Western Europeans. And I really hope that Obama will uh, uh, say something about that in his speech. Also about the drone war. It's a, a very uh, a delicate thing um, to operate uh, uh, killing machines in uh, ter uh, uh, other countries which you don't even have uh, officially declared war on. Uh, but uh, somehow this isn't really being, uh, uh, um, being uh, uh, problematized. Um, and uh, listening to uh, conversations not only of uh, everybody else but also of your own citizens by an uh, agency which uh, doesn't have the authority to do that in principle is also a big problem and I think the um, a potential for, for being a problem is much higher in, in uh, Europe on this than it is in the United States. At least it seems like that. Um, how, how do you think should um, Germany shape transatlantic relations? Um, what, how, in which area is, is German-American cooperation important for Germany and what should the German government do differently or more? Or I think we should uh, uh, work together on uh, finding solutions in the uh, uh, Near East, for example. That's something we only can do uh, together. Um, but we should also um, uh, uphold uh, our basic uh, liberal freedoms, also when talking to the United States of America, because uh, a PRISM, for example, is uh, an example where uh, uh, the United States just act uh, um, under a certain uh, um, border of uh, acceptability.